I'm James Bruce, you're watching MakeUseOf.com, and this is the Roborock Shawa E20 robotic vacuum. It's available now for around $250 from geekbuying.com, who kindly supplied our unit for review. It's certainly the most powerful robotic vacuum I've tested yet, and it has a remote control app, and if you're lucky, Alexa support. Let's take a closer look. So inside the box, you'll find the robot itself, obviously, a charging station with rather short one meter power cable, mopping attachment and spare pad and filter bits, a waterproof plastic base for the charging station when used with the mop attachment, stop the floor from getting wet, a spare filter and cleaning brush. Now one notable absence is that of a physical remote control. Instead this device is entirely controlled either by the buttons on top of the device or the Mi Home app which you can install on your smartphone. It also offers Alexa integration, however, we were unfortunately unable to test this. More on that later. As well as, of course, vacuuming, the Shawa E20 also offers mopping feature, which attaches really easily onto the base of the unit and can then wipe up on hard tiled floors. Now the fact that it just clips onto the underside of the device is a bit of an advantage in that there's not a lot of fiddling with it to do, you just slide it on. However, the tank itself is rather small. Still, you probably don't want to mop an entire house with this anyway. And like most robot vacuums, the mopping feature feels like a bit of an afterthought that you probably won't use at all. It has nice big wheels on the bottom and in my experience had no problems getting onto deep pile carpets. So as I mentioned, the main way to interact with the device is through the app on your phone. In our testing, it worked really well. It was very simple to use and you can control the device from anywhere in the world. So it's all great once you've got it set up. However, good luck getting there because the branding on this thing is really confusing. Although it's marketed as being made by Xiaomi, the manual itself says manufactured by Roborock and the box has nothing about Xiaomi on it. In order to control it, you'll need to download the Xiaomi Mi Home app. However, you won't be able to search for Mi Home on the app store because it's actually called Mijia in Chinese characters, that's what it's codenamed. Oddly, there's no instructions in the manual about where to download this app, not even a QR code, or even any mention that it supports app control, which is a bit odd for a device that doesn't even feature a physical remote control. You'd think that would have been one of the main selling points of it. Upon opening the app and adding the device, it's not the one called Roborock, nor is it the Xiaowa C1, it's just the plain old Xiaowa, the one at the end of the list. Then, in order to control your device from Alexa, you'll want to add the Roborock skill to your Alexa account. Now, if you're in the UK, this is further complicated by the fact that there's a competing company called Energini, who also have a line of smart home products, which are also controlled by an app called Mi Home, or probably My Home, but either way, it's spelt M-I Home, exactly as the Xiaomi app is. Suffice to say, it's completely unrelated to Xiaomi. Confused, exasperated, you're not the only one, and I generally consider myself quite good at these things. However, that's not the only thing wrong here. If you're in the US and you want to use the Alexa skill, you need to ensure that you set the device up on the Singapore server rather than, as you would think, the US server. And if you're located in Europe, well then you're out of luck entirely. Thanks to GDPR, the skill required to control it over Alexa just isn't available in Europe. Regardless of what server you set the device up on, you won't find the skill in the Alexa App Store and therefore you can't control it. Now, I don't know who to blame more here, either the ludicrousness of a poorly thought out European data protection regulation or the fact that Xiaomi couldn't figure out some kind of a workaround to still let us use Alexa. Regardless, don't buy this device if you live in Europe and would consider Alexa control to be a defining selling point for yourself. On the plus side, the app works even in Europe and it's really simple to use, allowing you to control control the device from anywhere. With more sensors than you can shake a stick at and some sort of camera thing at the front of the device, the Xiaowa E20 also offers some kind of mapping feature. Once you've let the device go on a cleaning run, you can open up the map and you can see a very pixelated view of what it thinks your room is shaped like and what it's cleaned. Now there's no further functionality beyond simply viewing this map. You can't, for instance, tap on a particular area and say, do that bit again, it's still dirty. And I don't think it helps in future with regards to navigating the room. It is literally just a report. It says I cleaned 10 meters squared and these are the areas that I cleaned. Each time you run the robot on another cleaning run, the map gets regenerated. So you can see again where it's cleaned exactly. The app also sends notifications once the robot has finished cleaning and is returning to base station, just in case you'd like to plan your life around the goings on of an automated robot vacuum. 
And one pretty cool feature is that if you lose the robot, you can ask it where it is, and then the voice will loudly proclaim, hello, I'm over here. Very cute. Of course, the important thing about a robot vacuum is how well does it actually clean? And in this regard, the maximum power output of the Shawa E20 is rated at 1600 PA. Now, that's higher than all of the devices I've tested before, so obviously it's going to perform pretty well if that number is reliable. In addition, the roller that you'll find underneath the device is a sort of hybrid rubber blade and brush systems. The fact it has a hybrid implies that it's probably going to do well on both carpets and hard tiled floors. In practical terms, I pitted it against the last generation iLife V8S, which is designed for hard tiled floors. I set them both on spot cleaning, maximum power, and you should be seeing some fairly conclusive results in the video now. The problem with the V8S is that it tended to push a lot of the dirt outwards, and while it did work, it left a little bit behind. While the Shawa E20 really sucked it all, you can see the added power at work there. Now I should note that in general use with the cleaning tasks of going around the whole room, they're both going to perform about the same. However, in this particularly grueling spot test, it's pretty clear that the Shao E20 did better than the V8S. It also performed admirably on carpets. So should you buy the Xiaomi slash Roborock Shao E20? At around $250, it's not the cheapest device out there. There are a few other devices on the market that support app control and Alexa. However, if you're in Europe and you really want Alexa control, I would suggest looking elsewhere, at least for now, until they can fix that issue. App control is fantastic. The fact that you can trigger a cleaning from anywhere in the world is really cool. However, the Shawa E20 suffers the same setbacks as every other robotic vacuum out there. It still can't do stairs. It still can't even do black carpets because it messes with the drop sensor. It's not able to tell you when the dust box is full, so you'll still need to change that every time it's done a cleaning. And ultimately, it's not going to replace a more powerful upright vacuum for the times when you need to do a real deep cleaning. However, the Shawa E20 works well on both tiled floors and carpets. The hybrid roller and the powerful suction makes it pretty versatile. The mopping feature is nice to have, but honestly, you're not going to use it. The real power comes when you realize that you can use the app to set a daily schedule, and just set it off to do its thing every day while you're out at work picking the kids up and you'll come home to a nice cleaner house. Pick yours up now from geekbuying.com. Check out the description and we may have a code for you to get a little money off. Thanks for watching and I hope this review helped you to make an informed buying decision in some way. If it did, please like and consider subscribing. We do two reviews a week as well as technology tips, tricks and tutorials. If you didn't like review, come down in the comments and we'll talk about it. Until next time, you've been watching makeuseof.com reviews.